Hello everyone and welcome back to another house tour. So this is a big house tour. I don't know if it will be long. I just know that it's big. So this was actually for a challenge. I forgot what the challenge was called. Excuse me, but yeah, that was basically what it is. It's basically um, the challenge. Uh, I picked the theme of McMansion. And this is what we have here. We have a whole big McMansion. It looks horrible. Oh, sorry for the debug lights, but they're there. Uh, so it's not really a good looking house, but it's definitely a McMansion. You know? Um, and I also uploaded a non-tool version for the Sparked Golden Age challenge, because again, this was for an older couple. I literally had a theme for it, so it, the entrance is very plain. And a bit dark. You can see out to the backyard, but that'll be for later. There's this little bookcase there. We go through here to the living room. Now this is the tool version. So we have a much better looking sort of projector TV. So essentially, you know, this projects light onto that mirror and it projects into the screen. It's a 1980s thing. So I you know thought, you know what? This is a big mansion, so why wouldn't they be able to afford it, you know? Uh, you know, this is just a living room. Pretty plain over- <gasps> Oh no! I never fixed that. Oh, that sucks. I never fixed that wall. Mm. Oh well. Anyways, then we go through here. Let's go through. We'll save the back backyard for last, because I really like it. Um, so through here, you know, just a little office, a little secret, which I don't think we can access just yet because I don't, I don't want to go into the basement just yet, but we'll come back to that. So then we go through here, simple dining room, really like it. We go in here, and I think this is a spare, yeah, this is a spare bedroom. Plain and simple, nothing really much there. Then in here, I think that's a bathroom. Yep. I really like that. I really like the windows. Then we come through here and the kitchen. I really love this kitchen. There's even a skylight in here. Uh, not the greatest skylight, but I added it, you know. So it's there. Just a nice kitchen. It looks very dated, but it looks really nice at the same time. So here's a little dining table, you know. Breakfast nook area. Multiple stoves. So that one's probably functional. This one isn't. Um, that's a nice kitchen. And then in here is just a simple pantry with a fridge. These fridges aren't functional due to this. So I added in another fridge here. You can always change that around if you want. But then let's go upstairs. So here's the balcony. Hate the fact that these roofs do that. Here's the balcony overlooking this. Uh, this really nice chandelier. Just a couple of seating areas, and then these are two bedrooms. So this is one of the bedrooms. Very green. Really green. <laughs> and then this is bathroom again. Green. And that was carpet. <laughs> On carpet. <laughs> I really wanted to make that feel dated and ew. so then we have this bedroom which ooh, it's very pink but I really like it so in here we have a plain old closet you know pink again and then the bathtub's probably disappeared yep everything here has disappeared well that sucks and the windows also don't show up properly Oh no wait, it's still here, I just can't see it. what? That is stupid. That is really weird. Anyways, our mirror is everything. And this sort of glass brick wall, which I really like. I was glad that we could finally do this. But I really don't understand why this is happening. So it's all... 
No, okay, so in live mode, it works in the bathtub, is fully functional. So let's go down to the basement. Oop, down into the basement. So here is where the elevator leads. The portal is what allows you to access it. It's fully functional. And then you go out through here into a superhero layer. So I kind of added all of this here, the chairs, all that. Um, added in those chairs, added in a computer area, because why not? And as well as maybe like their tools and weapons and like that, sleeping pods. So I really like how this turned out. Yeah. So let's go back upstairs. Let's just do that and then go do the backyard. So let's go through down and here's the backyard it overlooks the city and it looks really really nice a couple lounge chairs a seating area here and then another sort of table here here's a fountain and then you have like a couple of easels here maybe they do painting in their spare time so you know you go through here and it's multi-level using foundations platforms and released at this time so I had to use foundations, but I really like this. And then the tanning areas, and then this area. So I didn't enclose it as a room. And I did all this with these doors, and I really like it because it looks like it's open doors and things like that. But I didn't enclose it as a room so that this could come through. And then here's the barbecue area, you know, bar area. little seating area with a TV and then a mirror. But the backyard is one of my favorite parts of this build, honestly. Oh, so yeah, that is the house. Uh, it's a really ugly looking McMansion, but it's a McMansion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. As always, subscribe if you like the video, like if you like the video, comment and share, and do all the things that YouTube wants you to do. Um, but yeah, so that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next house tour. Bye.